Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today is a massive sort out day, so I thought I would vlog it for you. I'm rearranging my beauty room. Me and my mum are doing a wardrobe clear out. It's actually Valentine's Day as I film this. And I am so out of breath right now. I'm trying to hold it in so you can't tell I'm out of breath. But I've just been running around with Mr. Pickles, the devil dog, because he like literally gurgles at you like a little goblin. He's literally playing down there. I don't know if you can see. And I'm out of breath, yeah, like an asthmatic pit pony. <laughs> and then tonight I'm doing like a cute little date night for Sam and he doesn't know. He did soil my plans because he usually goes to work on a Wednesday and works from home Monday, Friday, but he decided to work from home today. So I'm gonna nip out when he goes to the gym and pick up like a little red heart helium balloon and things like that and pick up his favourite tea because he's on a diet plan at the moment so I can only really do like certain types of meals so his favourite one that he has on this diet plan is steak, broccoli and potatoes so I'm going to make it for him so when he comes in from the gym Pickles is going to have a little heart balloon <laughs> and run to the door with him and his tea will already be made for him and I think he thinks that we're going to be making it together Hey, my mum. Mum, are you coming on the vlog? Oh, there she is. Woman in black. A figure in the background. So yeah, that's what today is. That's what we're going to do today. But first, we need to sort out my beauty room and do my new desk. And then also do a massive wardrobe clear out because it's just not okay what's going on in my wardrobe right now. I can't find anything. Oh, my mum wants me to come with her. Are you going to show me what's in the spare bathroom? Just look. Yeah, I know. I've been in here. Oh, that's so cute. I know you're up it in. So am I okay to take it off? <laughs> Here is the current beauty room setup. So you'll probably recognise this because this is what you see in the back of my oh ex <laughs> Hello sir, he just banged the door. The door just banged on me and I was thinking, who is that? He loves rollers. Um, excuse me, no, this is mine, not for you. I mean, it is my own fault for keeping them all on the floor, but this is just where I do my hair now. It's just so much easier. Oh, let me go, baby. Are you okay? You stick your tongue out. He's out of breath too from us running around. So yeah, I'm gonna rearrange in here because my best friend, oh my God, she's amazing. She made me this canvas. Was it for my last birthday? It was either for my last birthday or for Christmas. I think it must have been birthday because I've been holding on to it because I didn't know how to put it up. So I got command hooks off Amazon and I put that one up and she actually made me another one for my birthday and it says Amie's Beauty Room. So I think I'm gonna put this on this wall here just as a little bit extra something, something going on. I'm getting a new desk because this mom desk from Ikea is the bane of my life. The drawer is broken. There's just no room and I'm, as you can see, a messy girl. So I need more room to be messy. Here is my space NK hall that my mum wants to see and look through. Oh gosh, I nearly hit you in the face. Sorry mum. That's the Thanks pink so sugar good. and there's the sweet mint. Smell them. They smell incredible. And then I also got that. Put that in there. What's he just got and run under there with? Oh, they do smell nice. They don't. They smell good. Say hey. Hey. You're so cute. People were saying that we're the spit of each other. I know. Don't see it, do you? Well, I don't know. I just think I'm the mannerisms and my dad. You are dad through <laughs> and through. A grumpy old man. That really is I, a grumpy old man. My dad, like, hates people. Isn't He's so awesome? shy. And that is actually me. <laughs> oh, that's what I need to order, Mum. I need to order the American plug to UK adapter so I can use that mirror. Do you know that little one that, like, that, that Nars got me? Yeah. So it can light up. Right, so should we do the desk first? Yeah, let's go. And I need to put my Emmy's beauty room up. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put, put it there. The I got some more command hooks. Yeah, so they can just tack to the wall. Yeah, I just can't remember how me and Court made that straight. A tape measure. I need a tape measure. I'll yeah. go find a tape measure. Right. Hola! Imagine if he was on a call. Oh la la. Oh, look what he's watching. You cute little bean. I'm right, just trying to find a tape of the measure. This is my like handyman drawer that my dad made me get. It's rather loud in here because this is my utility room, so my washer and my dryer are both going on. Whoa! I just found some dollars. We can use them. It's Disney. It's about $12. Are you excited? We can get a snow cone. A pickle. We actually could get a pickle. Do you know from the little carts? Yeah. Um, I need a pencil. This is what I need. I'd get one a big turkey leg. Like. Sam's going to get a big turkey leg in Epcot as we're walking around the world. What's this? I don't know what that is. I'm going to take my belongings and um, try and find a pencil. Right. So we've got a little bag of bits and bobs. Ha I knew we had a pencil somewhere. Me and my supplies are off. I can turn all these lights off because it's a waste of energy. Electric. Let's go, muchachos. I need to do more Peloton. I get out of breath going up the stairs. Oh, hello, lady. God, you parked a bit wonky donkey on the drive. I did. I'm sorry. She's at about a 90 degree angle. Okay, so here is. Oh, look at the canvas. It's so cute. So, yeah, I'm thinking there. What do you think, mom? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? He was just around the back of my mirror and we just would see a paw come out of there like this trying to get the rollers. Mum's currently got her. Um, apparatus out. 
Right. So if you put the hooks in at 22, which yeah. is similar to that. I've just measured them and I've just gone, I thought, well, it's So 22, right, so let's mark that. 22. Let's mark it with the pencil. So where's 22, sorry? There. Wait, so I need to, because the command hooks are just like a little bit in, aren't they? Yeah. Measure what we did the command hooks apart, please, on there. What, from the edge of the thing? No, like measure between the, like from here to here because it's the same size canvas isn't it 34 34 right so measure across there pretty please 34 stunning yeah and then 22 down oh yeah i'm gonna see bang on really isn't it so is that where you're putting your hooks that's where we're hooking if you put, hold the hooks up there before you stick them on you just make sure that they're fine if you just pop the hooks on yeah like that perfect where's the stickies now we've got to do the very important sticky part dun, dun, dun. so the blue side goes on the hook like that and then you've got to massage it in mom mom's massaging it in we've got to take this desk down oh royal mail my fave say yeah hey friends so i'm just gonna have to answer the door off we go Wonder oh no they'll be able to stick that through won't they thanks mr royal mail man bye he looks like a paul doesn't he paul or a dave <laughs> don't he he does yeah. You really like a Paul or a Dave. Okay, do we think that's good? Yeah, I do. Right, and then we peel it off. Perfect. So you put yours up there. Are we, are we level? Do we reckon? It's at the bottom. At the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to make sure it's straight. Mine looks straight. Yeah, mine is hinged straight. Right. Are you looking yeah. at mine? Perfect. Yours looks a bit wonky donk actually oh. now I walk. Can you see? No, it doesn't. It I looks think it okay. does a bit. Oh, oh, it must be the tag that's wonky then. I think it looks okay. Okay, partner. Howdy. So right. Right, are you leaving that just for we'll now? We'll leave that for a second. Now I need to sort this situation out. Oh my god, here we go. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Our oh, mum's so dramatic. Okay. Oh, you look so cute though. You're like a little gnome on a toad too. <laughs> Well, at least you don't like an ogre. Well, that's true. Right, now we need to sort out dun, dun, dun. dish. So, now it's time to sort this out. We need to put all the brushes into here and then move the makeup. I need to move my rings. And then we can put the new tabletop and the Alex drawers all together. So bubbles and things can go at the bottom and hair tools and hair products. I'm using Grace's little um, case. It's so good to keep all the hair bubbles in. Right, and then we could do all the skincare. Like I have like my everyday skincare in this drawer so I can just like grab it quick. So we'll put that in the top drawer. I can add some more bits in there. Oh, don't this take you back to like when I was in my bedroom at yours? Yes. Still got drawers full. Yeah, we still have drawers full at my bedroom. Right, so we'll just put all of these in here for now. And then I can like sort it out another time. Right, tech. So this can be the tech drawer. Oh, screwdriver. We can use that now. Tripod. Well, that's a phone stand. So we can put that in there. Oh, there's just so much room for activities now. So we need to fix the seat now. Fit the seat and over this. Out. I think we say goodbye to the cracked Mitchell mirror. Oh dear. It's bad luck, isn't it? Bye. Right, we're going to move this desk now. Wow, well, it's like a bomb site in here. So everything's all over the place now. So now we need to reassemble. Tabletop walking. Oh, just go pinch a biscuit. A biscuit. I want something sweet. Oh, dear. I'm doing this a bit painfully slow, aren't I? Very. Because I'm at the bottom. Right. There we go. Okay. Voila. Put the legs on it now. Yeah. Which side are you having your drawers? What side do you think? I think that side. Going this do side. Do you not? I'm, well, I'm just thinking of this. It depends where I have that, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, heck. Well, this doesn't matter which side you put the legs on because you can. Oh, just yeah, so we can just spin it. Right, yeah, that's fine. Just turn it so it no, doesn't I matter. Just, I was just making sure that you've got the white panels on both sides. And I've got to work out how to do this. Some quick scan of these. I am the flat pack queen. I am very good at flat pack. Well and truly. I can get things up in a jiffy. So this goes through here and then we screw it on easy peasy lemon squeezy so we'll stick the table on its white front do you get there yeah. oh, no, you don't have to do it i would have done it right so i can just stick them on it doesn't matter which side they're on so we'll just stick them right, on this side this you don't throw it up the biscuit. The biscuit. all right for some of us we're starving out here anyway some of us will get back to work 
Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Ah! myself with it. I just stab my finger. Right, so let's screw these in. Let me bring you closer. Right, let's get these screws screwed in. Hopefully this is the right size screwdriver. I think it is. It's a bit small, but we'll make it work because I need to film in my beauty room later. Oh god, we're going to be here a long time. Okay, let's try and get this into place. You have a little gap at the back so you can put your plugs in. Yeah. So you think that should be on that side? You're going to have to bring it up further out do you i'm only thinking because all your plugs are there okay that's that's all i'm thinking so let's move this out i mean i know you've got some plugs there but this are rock. you going to move it over to you now i think this rug we need to just redo after yep okay so let's try because that might not be big enough because that we'll have to change the Oh, wait one minute. Oh, level yeah, of those legs. Change. legs, won't you? Yeah. So much more room. Yeah, I've got a lot more room. But that can you? come in. That, yeah. It's go time for putting it up. My canvas. You ready? There we go. Yay! How cute does it look? I and mean, these beauty room. Oh, it looks so cute, doesn't it? Lovely. Adds a little something, something to here as well. So it's a little bit later now. We've had tea. I cooked Sammy's little Valentine's tea. My mum actually stayed too. We were all there together. It was really cute. But now we have finally finished the rearrange. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like, what's the word? Not catastrophic. I just consulted my mum. It's nothing outrageous. We'll go with that word. So I'm going to show you. We think it looks bigger. So here is the new setup. The only difference is we've just moved my desk from obviously it used to be here to the other side. So we think it looks bigger because it's just in a bigger like alcove now. Whereas here obviously it's a little bit smaller. But now I'm going to be able to use this mirror to actually take outfit pics and nothing like look ugly behind it because I always used to think that my mirror and like my light that you can see here just made it look not the nicest like vibe of the background for this mirror. Pickles is chewing cardboard. And then we have my canvas up how cute does that look oh she's so beautiful next to her little friend here still got my little hair station down there and then yeah this is the new little filming station i just swapped out my malm desk because you just got one long drawer and i just needed more space for like everyday makeup tech like skincare hair stuff do you know that i need like on hand straight away from when i'm filming so we've done the alex drawers again i just got them out the summer house and popped them back there and then i literally just bought a tabletop off amazon and the two legs and this little mirror here and i was actually gifted it to me when we we're in new york so yeah it has an american plug so i just need to buy a usa adapter to uk so then i can plug that in and use it it's so cute and then here we are in the mirror this looks so cute i feel like it's so much more cozy now oh i love it so much so yeah this is the new little beauty beauty room. I'm not doing much else this evening. I think we're going to try and book the Disney holiday. That's what I need to do and I need to order some clamp lights for the new desk. My friend's boyfriend bought her sort of where like you can use these and instead of using the big long pole you can like clamp them to the desk like onto the side here but at the back and it just looked really cool so I need to try and find some of them on Amazon too and that's all I'm going to be doing this evening. Tomorrow I've got a few errands to run. I'm going to see my friend. She just had a nose job so I'm just going to nip her out in the car so then she can get out a little bit for today that is all we've got to report for today so i'll see you tomorrow hey guys it's the next day now and i've just been running a few little errands this morning and i couldn't really vlog because i had pickles in at the vets and then i had him at the groomers and now i am back home i did pick up a monster bag of pr from my mama's house so i thought we could undo it together because i actually really enjoy undoing my pr on youtube for you but first i have got one of my favorite little drinks these are dash waters now if you've never had a dash water pick them up they are a little bit expensive so they are like a little treat you get four for four pounds in like a little crate from Tesco's but they do so many different flavours and the blackcurrant one is my personal favourite. It's so good. I'm going to do a little bit of ASMR like you know the girlies do on Tiki Talk. I have done that before to be fair. Ready? Ah! My scissors got stuck. Ooh. There we go. Hopefully you heard the bubbles. And I just banged it off my teeth. Ow. They're a fizzy water but they've got zero calories so I think it's like just sparkling water because I am a sparkling water girly. I've seen so many things on TikTok at the moment of people saying like how can people actually like sparkling water. Do you know um, people saying they list things that they're sure people are lying about liking and they say sparkling water and I'm like no I love sparkling water because you can make like at home fizzy vintos, fizzy ribenas, fizzy like apple juices if you have like apple cordial. So that's this kind of vibe but yeah it's no calories no sugar no sweeteners and it's all natural from wonky fruits so they use wonky fruits to flavor the water and i just think it's so cute
gorgeous right let's get to unpacking these boxes what is in here oh this looks interesting for you remarkably simple science driven skincare oh she's in a bougie box oh that's so pretty whoa i don't know how to say this hydrolytic 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 serum hydrolytic moisturizer that sounds cool i feel like it's that a fancy word for hyaluronic acid maybe but they look cute we'll take them out of the packaging and then we will have a try what else have we got oh what's this one what's this one what's this one i always can't fathom out like how to open the boxes okay we're just ripping it maybe we'll just slice and dice go down what are you this looks cool what is in here? Oh, we've got a long pole. Whoa. Oh, something to do with brows. We look forward to you trying the new BBB London eyebrow pen. I love an eyebrow pen. But the only issue is that I have with my NYX eyebrow pens is if I get a splash of water on them or if a raindrop hits it, it comes off and it exposes me. Oh my God. One time when me and Sam were in Universal in LA, oh my God, we were on a ride and this gorilla fired mouth juice at me and half my eyebrow came off. Oh my God. I was mortified and then the other week me and my friend went out for a meal it's just my look like what are the chances of this the one girl that has fake eyebrows basically walks into the Italian just as a water drop drops down from above and it goes right through my eyebrow so it takes half my eyebrow off so then I had to sit on this meal in this Italian like cozy Italian next to loads of people with a line down my eyebrow it looked like a line in my eyebrow it was traumatizing <laughs> Okay, that was great. That was the wrong way. Fabulous. Oh, we've got a pencil. We've got a ruler to measure out the eyebrows. What is this? So we have three pencils. These are, what are these? Rose Extract Fonse. Extra Deep Rose. Deep Almond. Extra Light Almond. Oh, and what's this? Medium Almond. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really confused right now. And then we have the eyebrow pen. We have another eyebrow pen. So we have Chai and Clove. Oh, they're cute names. Chai, Clove. Let's see what these are like. So what are these for, I wonder? Oh my god! We even got a picture. Is that to practice eyebrows on, maybe? Is there any more information? I'm not gonna lie, I'm really confused about the pencils. I'm not sure what they're for. Oh, cute. I don't know if you will focus. Oh my god, old school YouTube vibes. There we go. Can you see that? That looks rather funky. Okay. Aha. So they create little hairs on the hand. Focus on my hand. Okay, it's not focusing on the hand, but you get the gist. We will try them because they look rather snazzy. And let's, fingers crossed and pray, they're waterproof. Cuteness. Maybe the pencils are to sketch out on the brow for you to then fill in with the pen. I think I've cracked it. Ooh, what's this one? This one's in a little... I love them so much. Oh, the fake tan. This is um Gatineau, Gatineau, Gatineau. This is the Golden Glow Gradual Tan. Oh, they're both Golden Glow Gradual Tans. One's in a large pump bottle. One's in a little skewsy, squeezy one. Thank you. I'm going to try them. I want to get into Gradual Tan because I just feel like I hate tanning. Do you know like how we all have the thing in our heads that fake tan takes us about like a year to apply when really it takes like 20 minutes. I build it up to be such a big thing in my head and procrastinate doing it because I think it's such a big job and it's really not so to avoid that i really want to get into the what's the word routine of putting these on like putting a gradual tan on when i come out of the shower so they seem stunning that sounded interesting now we have a larger box oh what's in here morphe these are cool boxes continuing setting mist this was my jam back in the day oh my god i loved her so much but she's just not the same as my glow milk sealing set oh that's cute it's like one of them little clip lights in the top of your phone do you know what it's a really funny story it's not even funny i don't know why i say that really funny story ha! it's not actually that funny but really interesting story should i say oh what's this mini continuous prep and set mist that could be cute to use as like prep for the skin. Do you know when Morphe was all of the rage? Like the 35O palette. It was back in the days of like Laura Lee, Manny MUA, Jacqueline Hill. And if you weren't using Morphe, you were not like, you weren't a makeup girly. Like you had to be using Morphe. Like 2016, 2017. We went to LA, me and my family went to LA. And I went to the one and only Morphe store that was in LA. And when I tell you the rage that this brand was and like how much money they must have been making, this shop, 
was the smallest, sweatiest little shop like ever. And it was crazy, like people were queuing and I, was, I begged my dad to like take me. And we pulled up and we were all so confused because it was on like a creepy looking, like a little industrial estate almost. It was crazy. And I went in there and I had the best time. I spent all my money that I'd saved up on all of like the brushes that they all use, the 35 palette. And I just got so many different Morphe things, which were all the rage at the time. So it's so crazy now to receive PR from them. I have received it from them before. But yeah, it's just so, so cute that I queued up. Like I spent like my savings when I was like 16, 17 on Morphe products. And now they send and realize me. So thanks so much Morphe, it's so cute. La Roche Posay is up next. Honest to God, boxes to me are like a treacherous maze. Like I don't understand how they work. Like some boxes, I don't know how you're meant to get in them. Like they are honestly like a puzzle. It's so funny. Ooh, this is cute. Effeclar Duo M. Now I already use this Effeclar Duo and I love it so much. It's so good. It's for like corrections and breakouts. This one says it's for blackheads, blemishes, post acne marks, anti recurrence. So I use the original Effeclar Duo and it's so good. It's like, I don't know if it is antiseptic or like antibacterial, but it's so good at helping like with my hormonal breakouts and my scarring and things. I use this in an evening along with my retinol and I love the original one. So I'm really excited to try this. I don't know if it's new or not, but that looks cool. Oh, I picked up a new Rentonic. I've gone all the way through my current Rentonic. I've really got back into using this. Since I've had like dry, flaky skin, I've um, picked this back up because I didn't know if like my Paula's Choice BHA was doing it to my skin. So I've switched to using the Ren again because this was the GOAT. Like three years ago, I could not get enough of this. I loved it so much. So yeah, I picked up a new one because I literally ran out of mine because before makeup, this slaps. It eats away all your dead skin cells because this is an AHA. So it's really good at like brightening my skin. Oh, this parcel looks quite sad. She's been in the wars. <laughs> Let's open you up. Oh, Huda. Hey girl. Maybe if she's come from Dubai, that's why she's been in the wars. It's like a little present. Oh, how cute is that? Creamy. Oh, what is this? It's like a little hair bag. Oh, so interesting. Okay, so we've got the One Coat Wow Mascara. I will give that to one of my friends because I'm a lash extension girly, but apparently that's gonna be incredible. Creamy Coal Eye Pencil. So I've got one in Very Brown and I've got one in Very Vanta Extreme Black. They look cute for like putting on the waterline. And what are these? These are the new creamy, I'm guessing they're new. Creamy eyeshadow palette. <gasps> How pretty do they look? All the nudes. Right, let's see what they look like. Like, oh, the packaging. The packaging is literally gorge. Oh, oh my God. They have the words creamy stamped into them, set stamped into them. And then there's also shimmers. Hopefully you can see that. So some of them say creamy and some of them say set. And then there's like the four shimmers, which I'm guessing are just like a, like a creamy powder shimmer. That's so fun. Let's see what this darker one looks like. Oh, gorge. Yeah, again. Can you see? Some say creamy, some say set, and then you've got the shimmers. Oh, I'm really excited to try these. Should we swatch one? Oh, wow. Oh, wow We Look at that. I'm dying at me doing the hand behind the finger. It's full on like old school YouTube. But look at that. Whoa, look at her shine. That is sparkly and reflective on my hand. They're so cute. Oh, a mix up. Now we've got a bag. How do we open the bag? Like this. What's in here? <gasps> no. No! I'm so excited! Oh my god. Oh, I've got fluff all over me. I can't believe I've got these! They're the new glow recipe Hue Drops. So I I've been so excited. I've seen people be sent these. I'm sure I saw a girl and then Michaela, they got sent these like a month ago and they both reviewed them and they were so confused because they weren't anywhere on their socials and everyone went crazy for them. They looked incredible on the skin. I'm so excited. So it's like, what shades have we got? These are all in the shade Sun Glow. Does that mean they're, they're all the same shade? They're all the same shade. They're all the shade Sun Glow. That's absolutely fine. But look, they're like the original Dew Drops, which I actually really really love under makeup and I sometimes forget to use them. I forget about them sometimes, but they're like a bronzy drop. It's like a drunk elephant bronzy drop mixed with the original like glow recipe dew drops. Best believe I am putting that on my face immediately tomorrow. I am 
so excited about them. I'm gonna do a little video over on my TikTok. So head over to my TikTok if you wanna see me review them because I'm just a bit worried that they might go patchy. That's my only concern, so we shall see. Then this looks interesting. It's really heavy as well. What are you? Oh, it's from Cult Beauty. Whoa, Cult Beauty slash Bakery. Oh, I've never heard of this. Celebrate Valentine's Day. We're sharing a selection of self-love essentials, including skincare staples and makeup must-haves. So no matter your relationship status, whether you're happily single or coupled up, discover these new favorites that help you create the perfect pamper party for one. So cute. Oh. So they've collaborated with a bakery. Makes sense now. How cute are these little Valentine's cookies? Eat me. Oh, do you know what? I'm trying to be really good with what I eat, but I feel like I need to eat one of them. It would be rude not to. <laughs> I need to take a picture of them first. They're too cute. We have a fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash. I do love fresh products so much. Oh yeah, we've got Aviv Skin Nova. Gorgeous. What else do we, oh, a La Roche-Posay. This is the Melia B3 Serum. It's for dark spots. Good. Oh, we have an Alpha H cleansing balm. We have the Oskia London Super C Smart Nutrient Beauty Capsules. We have Bigger Love Hair by Sam McKnight Volumizing Mask. Oh my God, this box is filled with goodies. We have a Matte Revolution Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in the shade Cinematic Red. This is cool. This is the Ulla Henriksen Double Rewind Pro Grade 0.3% Retinol Serum. I have never seen this before. I didn't know Ula did this. I mean, I've seen the dark blue range, but I never knew that it was they did a retinol. I'm definitely gonna try that. Stunning. We have a mini Urban Decay All Nighter, but I will not cheat on my baby. We have a Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydration Fluid. This is their SPF 50. Really like lightweight and liquidy. Then we have an Hourglass Unlocked Lipstick in Tulip. And then we have, oh, a whole, a whole, an Ula Henriksen um, Pout Preserve Peptide Treatment. These are so nice. Oh, and it's like, a cute little, I think that, that's like a little Valentine's Day one, because it's an I Heart Ulla Henriksen. Oh, and is it gonna be red? Oh, it is red. <gasps> it smells like grapefruit. Oh, wow. I love these lip treatments. I use the ones that are in like the original Ulla Henriksen orange like packaging. Oh, this one is blood orange spritz, but it's giving grapefruit. <gasps> that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Cool Beauty. That's gorge. Maybe I'll put all the things back. I better get rid of this mass destruction that has gone on on the carpet. Well, on the rug right now because Sam will freak out. Oh, I'm out of breath with all that talking. So refreshing. I need to feed pickles. I need to make my tea. I'm just gonna have my salt and pepper chicken chopped salad. This salad, if I do say so myself, is the best like chicken salad I have ever tried, ever tasted, ever had. It is beautiful in every way, shape and form. And I'll show you how I make it. Like I'll, we can cook it together. Well, cook it, you don't cook salad, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But we can do that together. And then I think after my salad, I may have a cookie. Because we're going to Dubai. I'm just trying to eat really healthily and I'm doing my Peloton, doing all that good stuff. Actually, I need to go on my Peloton. I think I'm gonna feed pickles and then I might go on a walk on my Peloton for about an hour and just do some bits on my telephono. I think I might do that. Let's go. Pickles, my baby. Are you ready for tea? Oh, sorry. Oh, are you showing them your green bow? He looks so cute after his groom. Oh, you are just a prince charming, aren't you? Should we hold hands? Oh, we love holding hands, don't we? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. You look so cute. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's out. Do you want your tea? Come on then. <gasps> Come on then, let's get your tea. Right, let's get your bowl. I like to give him fresh water every time he eats because it makes him drink. He's not a drinker, are you? No. Right, so let's get his food. I don't know what he's on today because his dad feeds him in the morning. <gasps> Ooh! You've got game. He has button-up boxes. Oh, it's quite dark here, isn't it? Not a vibe with lighting. Well, he has button-up boxes and they all are like named funky stuff. So this one's You've Got Game and he has a banquet of venison with Oh, I'm dripping the juice. A banquet of venison with duck, carrots, and a sprinkle of blueberries and cranberries. So he's like his mum, he loves his blueberries. Are you excited? Where's your fork? He also has a little special black fork, so. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. And then to get him to try and drink a little bit more to get a bit more moisture in him, I do put a bit of warm water in his packet and run it around the edges. So then all of like the nice little juices and any like little bits that I couldn't get out, he still gets that, but he also has a little bit of extra water too. Pour it out of there. I just splattered that everywhere. 
Another food that he absolutely loves is scrambled eggs. So we try and give him a scrambled egg like every other day for his breakfast. So we give him some of his food and a scrambled egg. He's a growing boy, you know. We want to make him nice and strong. He's a perfect weight. He got weighed today actually at the vets. But well, we don't want him to grow anymore. We want him to stay nice and small. We like him at this like, not height. Do you describe a dog as height? We like him at this size. <laughs> he's like not too big. He's not too small. He is a smaller dog, but not like chihuahua size. Are you ready? Are you excited? Come on with your green bow. <gasps> Are you excited? Right now, sit up. Sit up. Good boy. Go on, you can have it. Yes. Now, me and my dash water have a date on the Peloton, so I'm going to go on there, and then when I finish, I'll do about an hour on there, do a bit of editing and things, and then we can make our salt and pepper chicken chop salad. Oh, I get so excited to eat it. Well, I am truly shattered after that workout. Don't worry, I did get changed. I didn't do it in this. Oh my God. Right, so basically, quick story. That was a beautiful explosion that just went on in my mouth. Oh my gosh, I need just one more before I tell you this story. <gasps> you ready, do you wanna hear the crunch? Did you hear that? Oh my God, wow, that is sensational. I wasn't feeling the fruit from Tesco. Like it was coming and it was a little bit mushy, even if it was still in date. So this week I treated myself to Tesco's finest. Strawberries, blueberries and grapes. And oh my God, game changer. I'm having these as a little post-workout snack before I cook my dinner because I am ravenous right now. I am so hungry. Honestly, these grapes, it's like I'm eating an apple. But like, that's how crunchy and juicy they are. Right, I'm gonna have to put them away or else I'm literally gonna eat the whole pack. For my dinner i'm thinking i'm gonna make up a little recipe i know i said i was gonna do my salad but i'll do that another day because i just like having them for my lunches and i want something to be fair the salad does fill me up but i want something like stodgy and i just knew i had this mashed potato in the fridge so in here is some chicken fillets i'm gonna put some mini chicken fillets in the air fryer i'm gonna have my mashed potato and i'm also gonna have some tender stem broccoli i'm gonna do that on the hob and i'm gonna make like a tomatoey sauce the question is will i like it or do i make chicken spaghetti oh I don't know. Wait, let me have a think. Whilst I have a wait, we're gonna have a Coke Zero. I've deserved it after today. That was a really satisfying sound. We're frothing. Oh, do you want to go out? Do you want to go play in the garden? Does someone want to play in the garden? Do you want to go outside? Oh, he's got this little bow from Wuff and Ready today because he went for his groom and he was a big brave boy and he always put little bows on. Oh, you are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh yes, tickle that chin, tickle that chin. Oh, look at that face. We've decided to go with the chicken. So I'm gonna give you a little recipe. We can like wing it together. So in here is three little chicken mini fillets with some light lower pack. And then I put on some onion salt here. And then I've also put on some of this dirty fry seasoning that I found in the cupboard. I think Sam's picked it up. So yeah, I've just put that on there. Hopefully it'll taste nice. So I'm gonna put that in there. I think Sam has just got home. I'm gonna do air fry and we're gonna do 40 minutes just like that and we're gonna start stunning hola hello hello well update i've just made this tomato sauce i just used half a tin of chopped tomatoes that I had put some garlic some salt some sugar and some chili flakes in it to make it a little bit spicy and here is the piece de la resistance so i added some milk salt and pepper into my mash and then here's my little chicken and i didn't want to put this sauce over my chicken in case i didn't like it so this is the plate I've got the coke zero stunning I am so excited. This mash. Sam just tried a little bit. He was sneaky. And tried it was good, didn't you? No, it was Crap. Mm -hmm. mm. Hello, little pickle meister in the back there. I'm now going to eat my tea, drink my Coke Zero, have a little scroll on TikTok. And then I need to like do my evening skincare routine. I want to show you that. We'll romanticize our lives. So, see you in a sec. I love you. Thank you. He's tidying my plate. That was freaking dick. And loading the dish fasher. Eh, what's that? You didn't rinse your cocoa pot bowl. What's what? Look at all that milk. You are disgusting. Sam, the only issue is when he does the dishwasher, he doesn't rinse plates and bowls. You are feral. It's a frigging point. Now because the all the gunk. Do you know what? I can't. Ooh, what are you doing there, sir? This is how I make my coffee. Which one do I choose today? Ooh, which one to choose? Da, 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 da. Yeah, you need to have a decaf now. It's a bit late. No. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, no, it's don't force it. It's full at the bottom. It is. When you realise it's full. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, it's full. Yeah, because it's full. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got that on camera. Zoomed into my face. Yeah, you're horrible. Put my face up. 
Yeah, and you. I'm now going to treat myself to a little bit of popcorn. I can have a serving of this. I'm doing like a little diet plan. So that's why I uh, like weigh my yogurt and my strawberries and my fruit and I'm trying to cook like healthier. So I'm going to have some of this popcorn and I can have 19... That's the fridge by the way. Excuse me, what? I can have 19 grams. So we'll put this on. I got it off Amazon. Joe and Seth Salted Caramel Gourmet Popcorn. I got it for my birthday party actually. You might have seen it in the vlog. It's, it's really good popcorn. There we go, 19 grams in there. To be fair, because popcorn's quite light, it's the caramel, the salted caramelly thing that I think is weighing it down. Yeah. Do you shut up? Taste test. <coughs> Do you know what? This is why I vlog when no one's here, because the tap's going, he's shaking the air fryer, he's sneezing, he's screaming shut up. What, what do we do? Shut up. <coughs> It's not recording prime time. That dance is the worst thing I've seen in my life. Your face is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. You ain't got no money, your clothes are kind of funny, your hair is kind of wild and free. Over love grows where my rosemary goes and nobody knows like me. They definitely weren't the words, were they? Do, do. No, no, I'm my black one. Right, let's go to the sofa, guys. Wow. Why are you hiding the fact that you spilled all that on the table? Put it back there. I made the coffee, didn't have it. What have we got there? Where's my phone gone? I don't know, you've oh. put it somewhere. We've not got it. Sam loses things all the time and asks me where they are, even though he's the last one to have had it. This is what happens when you get a nude phone case. Stop swearing. What, what are you pissing around for? I me! Mean, I'll put him in the frigging bin. <laughs> Why are you stressed? Get off, man. <laughs> Let me eat. I love you. <sighs> No, oh yeah, wipe like that baby off me. I'm now gonna sit back and relax. I need my popcorn with my little popcorn baby. Aren't you? You're the same shape as my popcorn. You look so cute. You look so handsome, sir. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. Hey lovers, so we have just freshly washed our face. I've been using two new cleansers recently. Don't have them to hand. I'll film like a full in depth skincare tutorial. Probably on here actually. Would everyone want to see that? Does everyone want to see a like evening skincare then in morning skincare here on YouTube? We have one ear on fire right now. Tell me why. But anyway, moving on. I'm gonna do my little nighttime skincare routine. And I'll just show it you briefly. I'm obsessed with the summer Fridays. What is this? Lip a butter balm. I've just realised I should have used my fresh lip ointment because that's what I've saved for using for an evening. Let's put a little bit of this Caudalie on. This is my Caudalie Vino Pure Toner. Oh, love her so much. I use her all the time. I have the a newer leaf toner, but I don't know where that is right now. Strange. Need to put a little bit of eye cream on. This again. Whoa. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of crust in my eye. How disgusting. But this is the Caudalie Eye Cream. I use this one in the evening and then I've got a few different ones that I like to use of a morning. Just looking now in the viewfinder and I feel like this setup's really cute. Are we liking this little setup? Oh, I've not turned my mirror on. I have like a light behind that mirror and it looks so cute when it's on. But we'll save electricity because it costs an arm and a leg so it's unnecessary right now. What else? What else? What else? We'll put... Oh my god, I've used three Caudalie products in a row. I promise... This isn't, this isn't a quarterly ad. I wish it was on YouTube. I'm not quite there yet. But this is how much I love this product too. Please come out. It's the Resverterol. <laughs> okay, she's bone dry. So we're going to have to scoop it out with my finger. Let's get this last little bit out. And then I think this one is going to have to go in the bin because she's done. There we go. That'll be enough. Oh wait, actually, can we get a last? Oh, there we go. We can get a last little bit off the pumpy bit. Just a rub that in. Oh, this is so nice. Do you know what? I'm not too sure, like, what ingredients are in this, but it is like a firming serum. So I thought it had collagen in, but I could be completely lying about that. But it's a nice, like, plumping, firming serum. I love using it in the evening. Another product that I've got an empty on is this. It's the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo, but there's hardly anything left in it. I have murders with this for the past week in an evening trying to get stuff out, but this is the last little 
little bits that's in it now but this yeah it's the Effaclar duo and it's the anti-imperfections so it helps with like breakout marks corrective unclogging properties and like it just helps with breakouts and things i believe again not too short on the actual ingredients on this but i love it i use it every evening in my evening skincare i think i forgot to include this in my what do you call it my skincare favorites i did film that to be fair like a month ago and i have had some new favorites come about but next this is still an absolute fan favorite i use like that much it's the dr jart ceramidin range i heard some people speaking about this once on a trip and they were like skincare queens kings so i was like if you're saying it's good i need to start using it so i started using it and i love it in an evening i use it as like my evening moisturizer and it's really good at helping support your barrier i think the whole of this yellow range the ceramidin range is to help retain moisture in your skin barrier so i put that on gorgeous 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 and then another this is the seaplast range i just use a little bit of this because like i said on my tiktok i've been getting such dry like chin and around my nose and on my nose so i don't put this everywhere i use it almost as a spot treatment for where my redness is and it works a little treat and then the last thing that i'm going to put on my e45 balm guys if you have dry lips dry anything it's for your lips and any form of dry skin so you could put it around your nails you could put it in your ears i put it on my mouth i have this like thing and i don't know what it is but i was reading up on it and it's when you're lacking b5 i get little cuts on the side of my mouth when i'm run down but then they take ages to disappear so i don't know what it is but i've had this one on the side of my mouth since i've had a cold it basically went away and then it's come back again and yeah i was reading up on it and it's a form of like not skin infection because it's not an infection it's not like contagious or anything like that it's just down to lacking b5 and some other vitamins so i just swear by this e45 cream i absolutely lather it on so it's like thick on it and it just makes it not go dry and cracked throughout the night so when you wake up it's not all like dry and cracked and you can't open your mouth without like slicing it and making it bleed again this is just a lifesaver for keeping it not moist but like balmy <laughs> put another little layer of the sweet mint on because why not if i give sam a little kiss in bed tonight i brush my teeth so my breath's minty my lips are minty it's in for a treat and that's everything that's all i'm putting on at my skincare this evening so i think it is the end of this little couple of days vlog thank you so much for watching i really hope you're enjoying these vlogs because i'm actually really enjoying making them like i fell out of love with filming for quite a while and i just think it was because i put so much like pressure and stress on myself it made me fall out of love of doing it but picking up this camera and like just sitting and having like a little chill chat with you guys and i just feel so much more relaxed doing youtube and i'm just really enjoying it so i really hope you are too and i'm not absolutely boring the life out of you so if you are watching thank you so much i appreciate you massively and again please like subscribe comment because it means the world when i keep seeing my little subscriber count go up and then the views underneath each video go up i'm just like oh like i say to sam like oh my god i've got a new subscriber or oh my god i've got a new comment or it's gone up 10 views like it literally makes me so happy so thank you so much for all your support it means the world and yeah if you've not subscribed already subscribe but yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will see you again in the next one bye